dia? <risos> boa tarde, boa noite. Good day, good afternoon and good evening. And just like magic, the clock rings. <laughs> we are today at King George Square here in the Brisbane CBD. And how beautiful is that sound and that view? Um, I hope you are enjoying it as much as I am. I wanted to bring you out here today because um, this is one uh, of the historical buildings we have here in the centre of Brisbane. We don't have too many and I wanted to share it with you. Um, I do need to start with an apology for not posting this vlogcast yesterday on my bits on YouTube. Um, it is a day late so please accept my apologies. I did put it on uh, as a blog on echoes.com.au but I do realise that I um, didn't get this out as planned yesterday. But things happen, hey? We just need to keep on going, moving forward. <laughs> so today is Monday, the 3rd of July, 2023. And as I said before, we are at King George Square, um, looking at life go by. <laughs> Let's get right into it. Now, when was the last time you put your ego and pride aside and asked for help. For me, it's right now. If you didn't know, Echoes is where curiosity is met with the hunger for knowledge, connection and experiences. My aim is to continue evolving from a place of love and not ego. And my purpose is to inspire others through storytelling creating a legacy of echo chambers of service to humanity. Yikes, as I say that, it, it feels so real. <laughs> but that is my purpose. Now, for many years now, I've held on to the belief that asking for any monetary help was reserved for those battling illness, those living on the streets, or prodigies who have a place to get to, to do their magic, but no funds to get them there. Since I am none of the above, I thought of myself as selfish every time the thought of reaching out for assistance crossed my mind. Now, because of this way of thinking, I found myself in situations I didn't really need to be in throughout the years. If only I had asked for help, any small help I would have saved myself a lot of unnecessary distress but as they say we live and learn how can I help others reach their own aim and purpose if I can't really assist myself and how can I help others and reach my aim and purpose, which I mentioned above, of serving humanity, if I am limited in the way that I help my family? I can't. Hence why I'm needing you to give me a nudge, push, or even a throttle <laughs> forwards. How? By sharing my content with others in whichever way you like. Example, a text, social media, in conversations. And please only share if you see the value in the content. By leaving a comment or feedback on my YouTube vlogcast, or even here on the blog, on the website echoes.com.au. And look, it's okay. If you're leaving feedback, you can be honest. I promise I'll still love you, even if it's yucky feedback that you leave. And then there is that other type of help. The one that is hard for me to put into words, and you can probably sense it in, in the tone of my voice. Uh, it's hard for me to put it into words without feeling ungrateful or selfish. It's the money type of gifts. How will this help? 
these gifts will help create the freedom to dedicate time to continue being curious. It gives me the abundant opportunity to focus on my aim and purpose as opposed to being focused on making ends meet on a weekly basis. In turn, I'll be able to continue taking viewers outdoors by traveling to different locations like this one to create, produce and share the videos you see on my YouTube channel, MyBits. If you'd like to help in this particular way, the money type, please go to bio.site forward slash echoes. That's B-I-O dot S-I-T-E forward slash echoes. And then click on the support echoes little tab there. Now, if you do that, I'd like to thank you in advance for believing and seeing the value of my purpose to serve humanity through storytelling. And even if at the moment echoes is only one woman, me, I thank you for seeing, for you seeing the value in me. Financial freedom through Echoes also allows me to share that wealth with those that I mentioned earlier, the people battling illness, homelessness, and the prodigy that I mentioned that deserves a hand in stepping into their own purpose. This financial freedom for me feels like ease. It feels like fun. It feels like a big, big smile. It feels like happiness. It feels like experiences. It feels like connected families and communities. It feels like conversations. It feels like peace. It feels like joy. It feels like a big warm hug. It feels like abundance. It feels like acts of kindness. It feels like freedom. It feels like optimal physical, mental and spiritual health. It feels like sunshine. It feels like togetherness. It feels like evolution and growth and it feels like joy. It feels like thriving. It feels like acts of service. It feels like new beginnings. It feels like safety and it feels like love. Mr. Bob Proctor said it perfectly when he penned, thoughts become things. If you see it in your mind, you will hold it in your hand. I, Roberta Lettieri, am the creator of my own reality. I am creating financial freedom through Echoes. Now it's your turn. Tell me, what are you creating? Hmm. And once you figure that out, I would love for you to share it with me. Share it in the comments of my videos or in the comments of my blogs. Or shoot me an email at hello at echoes.com.au. Because you inspire me too. Knowing that you are taking a step forward towards your aim and your purpose inspires me to keep going. Thank you for joining me once again. I hope I got you thinking of your own purpose and your aims and I look forward to hearing from you. Now remember to be good, be great, be kind, be you, be strong, be fantastic, be magical, be all those awesome beautiful things that you know you can be. Until next week, ciao for now.